One of the most popular PRI techniques is this left side lying right glute max. Uh, and I have it on my website. I've had a video on it. So if you need to watch the video to understand what I'm talking about here, to see what the technique completely looks like, because what you're going to see on this video, on this video, uh, when I'm explaining a particular concept is not how it's actually done. I'm just showing the upper body portion. So what you should do is, uh, find that video on the channel and watch that. And it's on my website also, because that's one of the five techniques that are on my website. And again, it's the left side lying right glute max. But what this, tech, what this video is about is how to not inhibit the right BC pattern. Now, why would you want to not inhibit the right BC pattern? Well, you don't want to do that. You do want to inhibit the right BC pattern. But what a lot of people do wrong is they don't turn off their right BC pattern as they're doing this left side lying right glute max because they're still use, overusing the right side of their rib cage. Uh, so in effect, they're not able to fully get the full effect, the full positive effects of this left side lying right glute max technique, which is a postural restoration technique, because they're not able to disengage their right abdominal wall or inhibit the right abdominal wall and inhibit, which means turn off, the, uh, the right rib cage muscles, all those intercostal muscles between the right rib cage. They can't breathe into the right side appropriately, or maybe they can, but then they inadvertently return those muscles on again because they don't know how to exhale without overusing their right side. So I'm gonna show it, because I see this plenty of times. Uh, I, it took me years to actually see it and know what I was looking at because I was so concentrated on the pelvis positioning, but uh, so I'm just going to look at my video that I shot and I'm going to just kind of narrate it a little bit. I push my bottom hip into the floor. It lengthens my right side. Then I'm going to point to my right rib cage area. That's where I'm going to inhale. That's where we try to get air in during inhalation, which I do. And then I exhale and everything closes down again. That's the problem. So you'll watch me do it again. I inhale, I open up, I exhale and it closes down. That's the issue. A lot of people, they might... Well, if they're even thinking about this, they inhale into the right side, but they don't keep it. They open it up, but then they close it down again. They got to keep it open the entire time, which keeps the left side closed. So you'll notice now it does, my right side stays open as I exhale, which means my left side is closing, which means I let, have my left abdominals. So the key to keeping the right side open during the technique is the left abdominals themselves. And that's how you inhibit the right BC pattern. If you do what I did before, which was inhale to the right side and then exhale and have that right side close again, you're just turning your right BC pattern on again and the whole technique is not gonna work to uh, maximum efficiency to the point that you may or may not feel your right glute at all, or you might feel your right hip flexors, or you might feel your right calf muscle, you might feel your back, you never know what you're going to feel. You might feel some right glute, but you're not going to feel it effectively. You're not going to feel it to 100% of what you could simply because you're not able to direct air appropriately inside your rib cage. When you open up that right side and close down the left side with air, with air flow through inhalation and exhalation, that is turning your spine, your lumbar spine to the left. And because you're lying on the ground, it's also giving right upper torso rotation, all on one technique. You got it, you got left stance and right torso rotation in a sideline technique. That's all we're trying to get out of all these techniques is pelvis to the left, left abs, upper torso rotated to the right, which is called left stance, phase of walking and breathe. And that's what we can't do. So I just wanted to show uh, the, one of the little details that people get wrong when they're trying to do these techniques and why they may not work properly and why you kind of, again, that took, I, I can't explain how many years it took me to recognize that occurring. Now it's like, it's so obvious, but it took me such a long time to see that and understand, and, and understand what I was actually seeing. Because when you first, well, it's a right glute technique. So I was so concerned about the positioning of the pelvis and the right leg moving forward and the right leg moving up, which I didn't show in this video, but you get so, caught up in the pelvis because it's a 
right glute technique that you don't realize that the right side has to stay open with air as you do it. Otherwise, the right hip and the right shoulder move closer together, and now you're just pulling yourself back into this right BC pattern, which will limit the effectiveness of the techniques that you're trying to do for your pelvis. If you found this video interesting or helpful, could you please like it, share it, comment, or subscribe? Thank you. Appreciate it.